Hey there everyone, this is Janae Heymans, better known as Lunar Foxfire here on YouTube. Welcome to my show slash voice reel, where you can see where I started off with my voice acting. Join me on my super amateur adventure with horrible mic quality and awkward acting and check out how much I've grown in my craft. If you want to check out more of my recent works, head on over to part 2. For more info, go into the description down below. And enjoy! It was more fun than usual. How come? I don't know. I just feel so pumped up. Is that good or bad? <laughs> don't worry, I'm fine. Or maybe it's because you finished your schoolwork early. More like a week what early. What the hell were you thinking? I don't think this is the right time for the- No! This is a perfect time! Amelia, listen to me. You, listen to me. <laughs> D dear. <laughs> Why? Why did you have to decide everything on your own? I'm sorry, hon. I was just thinking about you. I thought you'd be so much more upset and try to stop me from getting a job. But this... This is my life. This has always been my life. Uh, I'm Aubrey. You two must be new. I don't think they're not. We just came here. Oh, well, that explains everything. Roxy, can I call you that? You must be the best friend. Yes, I am her best friend. So, you're Celia? You betrayed us. <laughs> Such a waste. I said we just killed them all. No, since we don't have her anymore, let's make this all the more <laughs> pleasurable. The game makers play on your weaknesses. They know you'll be thirsty. They'll know you'll be hungry. So it's no surprise that the arena will be filled with something to throw you off your feet. If you're not 100% sure a plant is edible, don't try and eat it. Chances are it's poisonous. Is that how you want to die? Didn't plan on it. I am downtown facing a real apocalypse time. The believers in the end of the world were right. Basically, I'm in a bad situation by reporting to you. Some people have completely lost their minds and are splitting people's stuff, then drinking their blood. The process involves fighting into the neck of the victim. They struggle at first but give it rather quickly. New York, if you see someone with a thirsty look in red eyes, run or go on. Or you will die. Excuse me, ma'am. Are you aware of the people drinking blood? What? No! Leave me alone! Call me a dog again, and I'll rip your throat out. Oh, please. Try it, and I'll turn you into a snake. <laughs> Won't stop me from injecting you with venom. Sweet! I get to run and bite. Cora, quit running! You know we're going to get you. Stop. Can you smell that? What? It smells like... Ugh... Rotten dog crap? Why'd you stop? Let's go! No! Don't go into the fog! We have to go around it! Hey... Is anyone sitting here? My lab partner is absent, so... Can I sit with you? Sure. Wait... You're a freshman, right? Yes. Yeah. Then, what are you doing here in honors of earth science? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I was just smart for biology. Oh, I think I messed up big time. I think you did well. He didn't even see me dance. I want to help you. I'm... I'm not sure you can. You are in danger. Your whole family, everyone on the street. 
So I've heard. Aren't you afraid? Your mother. Is she pregnant again? No. But yours is. Uh, my mother has not told us so. <laughs> she didn't have to. As my mother predicted, every one of Mrs. Green's children and their early deaths. Just like she has your mother's. Mrs. Green was ill for a long time. She was unfit to have children in the time she conceived. My mother is healthy and will have a strong willed child. Ah, look. Ladies, your hag has awakened. <coughs> you breathe them out of this. You take me, not them. They did nothing to deserve the fate you're planning to unleash on them. They are just children. <sighs> I'm old bones, child. I don't care what you are, just eat. What's a little more starvation? Anatea. Oh, that poor girl. How could you let this happen? What money were you digging a hole with? Child, there never was debt to pay. What? Well, not one that involved money anyway. So, what made you sleep in so late? Again. Again? <laughs> yeah, again. <laughs> this isn't the first time. Then we need to do this more often. Come on, I know I can't be the only one who is tired of sitting inside of my house, doing nothing but breathing and eating. <laughs> you wonder too much. That is all that wondering truly necessary. You still don't get it, do you? <laughs> You're the enlightened. You've been down this road many times. This truly isn't your first time battling against us. Let you. Oh, really? <laughs> Oh, please, don't shoot me. <laughs> oh, please, please don't shoot me! Yes, Mom. I'm just gonna finish up some assignments and then catch some Z's. Well, I'll be in bed by the time you get home, but you can tell me all about your hot date in the morning. Howdy, County 911, what is your emergency? Someone get down my door! They kick on the door or they kick down your door? Down my door, please, hurry! Okay, what's your name? I, I'm Sharon. Okay, Sharon, what's your address? 5173 and Hill Lane. Okay, Sharon, I'm gonna get some officers over there right away. Just stay with me. Where are you now? I'm back in my room. Please help me. We got officers on the way. Just hold on. Oh my gosh, it's in my room. Who's in your room? Sharon? Sharon? <laughs> Happy birthday, sweetie. I told you not to give me anything. Oh, Lee, don't start. Today is a special day, and I want to celebrate. Come on, how old is my baby now? Your baby is 17. Wow. <laughs> Sad to say, but you're getting old. Um. <laughs> Open it. Open it. Milady, your baths have been prepared. Come along, milady. He is. You should talk to him. Why didn't you tell me you had something going on? I wanted to, but there was just so much happening with your family that I thought that wouldn't be the time to talk about my love life. Besides, Taylor and I didn't want you to feel like a fifth wheel. Your love life? So then please answer me one question. Why is your boyfriend so concerned about me. Did he want to impress you by helping poor little Jenna? Jenna, you're getting unfair. Taylor has his reasons. 
You should ask him these questions, not me. <laughs> I knew you would be delighted with this news. And I also believe that there's nobody else who would be more capable of doing this job than you. Those are created by Mephisto. He tried to claim him. My baby. <sighs> he, he is the main reason why I cannot raise my child myself. Nowadays, He's still trying to find and capture lost souls around here. But I will protect Earth with all my heart. That can only happen if the two children are raised on Earth. Mephisto can't find you, thus he can't find my son. <laughs>